Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're coming to this space for the first time then do subscribe to my channel. Uh, by the way, I'm Priyanka and I like to make videos on practically everything. So be it your career, be it your life, be it anything. I just want to make a video about it and this is something I have been doing for the past four months and I'm enjoying it thoroughly and I'm really thankful for all the support you guys have been pouring in and thank you so much and i have got my laptop so i've started with making my all my videos again and thank you so much for all this phenomenal support i did not think i was ever going to get in the past four months or three months uh, when i actually started really started making you know videos about it so yeah without much ado let's get started so I have a lot of free time right now so those of you who are watching my videos might know that I have quit my job and I have a lot of free time so I really want to take this time to you know make videos that are very practical and everything of that sort so today I thought maybe I'll make a video on my book haul and I got all these books from Amazon so now I have decided to keep a limit for myself of how many books I'll be reading a month so this time I've decided on reading five books a month I used to read a lot if you guys can see it over there somewhere that's my mini library I have more books than that but these are the only ones that are for display so again starting off with what I'm supposed to read this month uh, the first thing is my Srimad Bhagavad Gita this one is the Times of India edition and it is so good you guys it has the shlokas written in it and how you can say it in english it is written in that too as well as the meaning is given it is very crisp it is very concise it is pocket sized and this is what i like the most so whenever i'm whenever i'm traveling or something i can just put it in my purse and carry it along it sounds like i'm carrying a lipstick but honestly this is one of the best books you can ever read in your life you don't need to make it your see or like handbook of living or something you can just put it as something that you know you can derive your source of energy or inspiration from and it is really good for all those who have not read it the second book i got was i'm running quite behind it is the agatha christie murder on the orient express now this one i'm running so behind like i have read so many of the agatha christie books and i've not read this one so one of my friends was saying it will be boring in the start but it will get very interesting in the end so i'm listening to her and i'm taking this book so Let's see how this one turns out to be. So the third book that I'm reading it right now and I'm loving it to the core is Tuesdays with Maury. This is about a professor and a student that was separated 16 years back and now they have met again because the professor uh, is suffering from ALS and they are trying to recover for the time that is lost and he's trying to you know, impart his lessons or learnings to the student and this is kind of a memorial or an you know a pieces of conversation kept like that and it is beautifully written it is written in a very simple language it is written so so good and those of you who are wondering what is this is this is my boarding pass i usually preserve my boarding passes because i travel a lot and it just helps me to be kept as bookmarks so that's nice the fourth book that i purchased and i'm also reading right now is the subtle art of not giving a fuck so <laughs> uh this is a good book mark manson is an amazing writer there is no doubt about it it is really written to the point written in a very simple language and it is a book that instead of telling you to be kind compassionate think about everything it asks you to first evaluate the situation and think about yourself first and for a lot of people this book is really necessary especially for people who are really hypersensitive about things i think this book is going to do wonders for you if you follow it to the core of course now this one is the book that i have already read but this was this you know kept for this month but i read it before when i was traveling so this book is the bastard of istanbul and this one is by elif shafak I fell in love with her writing when I read The 40 Rules of Love. I have not read a book like that for the longest period of time in some time. But again, I am a fan of Rumi. I am a fan of uh, literature that is written with, you know, collapsing with the primitive times, the modern times and the primitive times are collapsing and actually, you know, hyperlinking to become a really good story. So The Bastard of Istanbul was... I wouldn't say it was as good as the 40 rules of love but again it is phenomenal in its own ways 
And the last book I'm reading is again by Elif Shafak. And this one is Three Daughters of Eve. So this is about a photograph that the main lady finds out. I won't say the character stuff. So there is this main lady and her name is Perry. So she finds out a photograph that has her uh, professor and three, two of her fellow classmates together. And uh, it's a photograph that reminds her of all the old times and what all the scandals happened, their discussions about feminism and religion and so many other things. Overall, again, it's a good book. I have just started with it. I think I'm on the second or the third chapter right now and I'm actually enjoying I really cannot complain about Elif Shafak's writing, so it's going pretty good, yeah. So if you want to see more Amazon book hauls that I'm going to be doing next month or the month ahead of it, do subscribe to my channel. and. If you have any good books that I should be reading, then please suggest me those names. Thank you so much for watching this channel, guys.